You gotta jump out the window. Okay, do what you need to do to get out of the car. <laughs> Come on over to the back, put your hands on the back of the car. Uh, we're following his pickup truck right now, and he has no tail lights, or if they're improperly working, you can barely see the tail lights at all. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and pull him over and and see what's up with his tail lights here. Do someone kind of on traffic. It'll be 108th and Park, 86029. You got a driver's license on you? Yeah. Okay. What did I do wrong? Oh, it looked like you're speeding up there and you didn't use any Speed? turn signal over here. Oh no, that means my turn signal went out. Oh it did? Yeah, I just got the truck. Okay. I got I got insurance on my Toyota and everything. Um it just has I haven't got the paperwork to have it transferred over yet. Okay, the so you got, truck, you got, I, think, this, I believe the truck is in, you live here? Uh, I was coming to see a friend of mine, Wendy. That's why I stopped at the phone right there and used the phone. The truck's in Aaron's name. I believe so, yeah. That's who I bought it from, so it might be. Why don't you pull up here a little bit more so I can get off the roadway here? Okay. Okay, and I'll pull him behind you. Check and a stolen registration on 86029. You were working on that pursuit, weren't you? Started at 78 to 176, came all the way down. I do not remember that one, so I don't think I was working. Well, he ditched it on military property and then they found it abandoned, had a lab in it, and sawed off shotgun. Oh, yeah, they, they, he got away that time, didn't he? Yeah, he got away. They figured out it was but him, though. His wallet with his ID in the car. Uh, funny how he pulled right in here. He was Why did he run? I know. I go, you got warrants? We're going northbound and he just freaking yanked it right in here. So like, yeah, oh yeah. We're going to go ahead and take him into custody right now for driving while suspended second and also he's got a misdemeanor warrant for his arrest. We're going to go ahead and take him in custody and see if he's got anything inside the car. Plus, we have a ran the plate, and it's coming back to a uh, Chevy pickup truck. This is a GMC pickup truck, so we'll have to do some additional checking on that. Got any weapons on you or anything like that? Uh, yeah, there's a Let's... shotgun on the. It's empty and everything. It's on. Okay. The, it's on the front put, seat. Just put put your wallet down there. That was in the car. Okay, put your hands behind your back for me. What's wrong? Well, you're being arrested. For what? Put back your hands together. For, for what? What am I being arrested for? Well, you're suspended second, and you got a warrant out for your arrest, too. Now, where's, oh, the, well, where's the shotgun it's again? The, it's on the front seat. He left it in there when, when we took our test drive and everything. And Who's he? Aaron, the guy I bought the truck from. Aaron? Yes, sir. Heard that name before. You have? I just met him. I don't uh -oh. really know the guy. Yeah. I'm gonna do my clothes. Is it loaded? No, sir. I, I made sure it was unloaded after he left. After I got, got position in the truck. Any needles on you? No, sir, I don't need them. You didn't scratch the serial number off this, did you? No, sir, I didn't even touch the gun. Uh-oh. Why don't you listen up? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used in court of law. You're right at this time, talk to a lawyer and have him present with you where I'm being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire one, one will be appointed to represent you without any cost. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Have a seat in the car. You get the VIN yeah, yet? No. Yeah, I got the VIN. Clear. Get over here. 
That's reef. See yeah, another scraped off. It's a Mossberg 12 gauge. So you look at how these guys are doing this, you know, as they're scraping off the serial number on these, which means it was probably stolen and we can't run the serial number. Uh, so we can't run the steel number and verify that it's stolen or not. This guy must have a bad cold. He's got the Sudafed here that they extract out the ephedrine from. These are all items that are, are, are consistent with uh, uh, manufacturing the methamphetamines, uh, basically doing the uh, uh, a lab with. And plus, he had a shotgun in here with a scratched off serial number. Like I said before, the truck uh, license plate uh, that we ran came back to a 78 uh, red Chevy pickup truck. Um, additional, like I said, was, we we're going to do some additional checking on the truck. And we ran the VIN, and the VIN comes back to a stolen truck here. So what he did is obviously he put a, a, a plate on here um, to try and throw us for a, a loop so he wouldn't notice that it was stolen because the plate would have been stolen too. So we're looking at uh, probably three or four felonies right now that this guy's looking at. One like a North Blue stop sign at 17th, northbound on 17th from Montana. Navy 3, copy northbound on 17th. Westbound, 1050, 1050. Okay. Open your door, open your door, open your door. Stay in your car, stay in your car. Do not move out of the car, stay in the car, stay in the car. Let me see your hands, I want to see hands. Hands! There's two people in the car. Two people in the car. Put your hands up! Hands up now! There's two people in the car. One in the back laying down. One in the back laying down. Spanish speaker. Jose. Jose. Got it. Okay. He's trying to get the person in the back and keep their hands up. Okay. Los dos pasajeros, dejen sus manos. Yeah. Manos arriba. Necesitamos ver sus manos. Okay, I see one hand, one hand. One hand. You got him, Josh? You got him, Josh? I got him. Or her? Don't look back. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Who else is back there? Who else is back there? Who else is back there? Is he the only one? Where's the gun? Cross me. Let me see your hand. I don't know. Okay, there's a gun in the car, though. Can he move? Stand up. There is a gun in the car. Can he move? Can he move? Stand up. Okay. Stand up. Walk back here. Walk back. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Oh. Start walking back towards my boys. Oh. Keep coming back. Leave the door open. Oh. Keep coming back. Oh. Keep coming back. Don't turn around. That's how we take care of business. He was in the back seat, yeah. Yeah, I see the holster. Goes to show you, airbags work. Yeah, there's a holster. Let's see if we can see the gun. I don't think he could have tossed it while we were behind him. No. I can't see. I don't see anything else other than what you just grabbed. Okay, here's a gun right here. 
He's got it shoved in this back seat right here. There and it is cocked. It is cocked. This, this, he was ready to play. Yeah, uh, the gun's in the back seat shoved between the uh, seat. You can see it. Okay. She's saying uh, they're just going to the store to get some munchies. I mean, yeah, and he, she, she said she parked. He goes in, she sees him running out with a gun. She drives up, what are you doing? He gets in, he says, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. It's all my fault. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm just going to take off. So why didn't she stop? She was scared. He was telling her not to stop. Uh, well, that's felony uh, I know. Uh, fleeing. That's what I told her. Okay. Oh, he's scared. She, she gets the F rank for that. He's been busy. In a few places. He definitely stole the jacket. We got the camera right here. It's a video camera. Then the jacket. I'm not sure about this other stuff, where he got that from. We may have an individual that, uh, that goes around... Uh, My understanding, he tried to uh, shoplift and he was stopped. He pulled the uh, gun on the security officers. And, uh, we'll get them down here, identify him, and then from there we'll uh, we'll put this guy where he belongs. You know, failure to come complete stop. Got a couple of traffic infractions on him, so stop him. Expired tabs too, yeah, an improper tab display. And they're uh, reaching for something here. <laughs> oh, oh, I know this, I know this woman. That's somebody dealt with her, got about five grams of coke off of her. Stay in the car. How you doing? Hey, how, how you been? It's been a long time since to see you there. Yeah, yeah what's uh, have you? Let's see your guys' ID, please. I don't have ID on this side. What's your name? Leslie. What is it? Leslie. Okay, guys, I need you to put your hands in front of you. Don't be reaching anywhere. Okay, don't be digging underneath the seat or in your purses or like that. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Stay in the car. Working two traffic. Southwest 116th on 110. Okay. The driver's got a revoked driver's license. Uh, probably from the last time I wrote her uh, for driving on a suspended license. So, I'm not finding any record of the uh, passenger. So, it's, she's given me a fake name. So, I'm going to pull her out, arrest her for the driving, and then have a talk with the passenger. Don? Yes. Set that down. Come on out. Go and set all that down there. I have a lady there. We'll, we'll talk. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Don, are there any narcotics in the car? Not that I know of. What's your friend's name? Desiree. Desiree? Okay. You got no idea on the No. Okay, come on back here. Before she steals it? Yeah. What does she have? My purse. Oh, well, no, we're, we're talking to her. She'd steal your purse from you? My money. All right, why don't you stand over here? Let me. Just, just take a seat there. I'll be right back. Where's my purse? I'll get your purse for you. What's your name? Leslie, sir. I have ID and everything, sir. You you're not, you're not. Denny, you can call the homicide detective Denny. He will verify who I am. All the officers in South Park will verify who I am. I have no reason to lie to you. Okay. You don't have any warrants? No, I have nothing. I um, got out of jail um, August 18th. What were you in jail for? Um, for probation violation. Yeah, well, I'll give you two guesses what this is going to be. Fucking one on Joshua. 
That's what they package the individual bags with. And they cook up with. And we got a scale with, looks like, white powdery substance on it. And here we got the drugstore. Oh my! See it back to the rock. Ah, uh, this is free base. That's a it's a good amount of of coke there. It's a real good amount. We got the individual bags. Looks like uh, some meth or uh, what's that? Heroin? Meth? Heroin. Well, I got a couple kits of this. Caviar. Caviar. Good, good score. Oh, big deal, man. It's a. Uh, Heroin. That's hers. You don't know about it? Little baggy, I don't know. Well, how about the one with the little heroin in it and the crack cocaine and the meth? That bag, the one you were stuffing when my partner pulled you over? I don't know. You, come on, Don. We've been over this before, okay? No, I just, okay. I, I just Don. got the car from a friend. That was your car last time. That's been yes, four or five has, months ago. Yes, it has been my car, but I let somebody borrow it today. Oh, okay. And, and they just left you with a whole bunch of dope? I just asked to go to the store. You're in a car that, with all this dope. If I wanted to, I could take you in and charge you. It's called I constructive just, possession. I don't want to do that, all right? You seem, you know, you know, I don't know I mean, if you're telling me the truth. On my arms or anything. Well, well, that's, I'm not even going to ask you about that. I, uh, you know, at this point, it's I've not an issue. I've never shot heroin. Okay, well, you know, there's a lot of other stuff here, so. I did smoke heroin. All right, okay, so if I do take a statement from you, all it is it's going to say is I was in the car with Don, Don stuffed a, a thing underneath the seat, and that's it. Okay, that is absolutely it. I mean, there's nothing, you know, you, you didn't know what was in the I bag. Don't know right, what, exactly. Thank you. Okay. Exactly. So I'm not going to say, you know, have you say anything incriminating. That's it. Okay? And you'll be done and free to go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this car over. He's got a cracked windshield. There it is. First of Sally, middle R Robert. 320 County traffic. 20. Bridge port at the southbound I-5 on-ramp, 784. Mm. Not really wanting to stop here, is he? License, registration, proof of insurance. So all I have right now is my driver's license, and it is uh, it's an old license. It's expired? Yes, an old lady car. Yeah, I've been done. working, and I just got the car back. Okay, go ahead and pull that out for me. Are you suspended or expired? It's been suspended. I had a... What degree are you suspended? Um, is that third degree? Third degree. Hey, uh, old ticket. Supposed to be working on that now. Okay, why don't you hop out for me? Just go ahead and leave your wallet in there. You gotta jump out the window. You gotta jump out yeah, the window. The door is stuck, sir. Okay, <laughs> do what you need to do to get out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over to the back, put your hands on the back of the car. He's got something in his waistband. Brockway, what's this in his waistband? Gun. Gun. Don't move, okay? Okay. Right down to the car. Right down to the car. Go ahead and bring other guy out. Go ahead, step out with your hands up. Hold on, I gotta secure the gun that's on the ground. Three, three, seven, 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 seven. Turn around, please, please. Turn around, please. 
Seven. Stand right there. Stand there. Go ahead, I'll stand by. Go ahead and just go up and cuff him. You want him to get it? Just set it right on the hood. Spread the legs for me. You have a permit to carry that gun? No, sir, I do not. Okay. Are you felon? No, sir, I'm not. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions, or make any statements. You understand those rights as I read them to you? Barbie, sir? Yes, sir, I can. Where's the math at? Admin, sir, I found in the car. For my lady had just the car broke down and just found it. Huh? All right, just in. Repaired. I was just getting it repaired. Finished repairing. You were just getting it repaired? It's just finished repairing. Okay, so you found the meth pipe in it? I found that in the car, sir. I don't know who it is. I don't buy it, dude. <laughs> why, why would you put it in your pocket? It didn't need to be in your pocket. That's true, too. <laughs> is he good? Whose gun is it? Um, give it to me by some kid. Give it to you by some kid. What were you doing with it? Actually, I was just trying to figure out what to do with it. So you thought you'd carry it around for a while? Uh, I'm not. I'm not Mr. Trouble. Hmm? Well, you're carrying a gun around. You don't have a permit to. Are you going hunting? Okay. You are a suspended third. You're under arrest for that tonight, which is why I initially pulled you out of the car. You're under arrest for uh, possessing the firearm and for having the meth pipe in your pocket. Um, I'm not going to book you on possession of drug paraphernalia, probably, because you've been honest with me. I'm not going to stack a bunch of charges on you. I'll just put it in the report. I'll throw it into evidence. If the prosecutor wants to charge it or not, we'll see. But like I said, you've been pretty cooperative, so I'll work with you, okay? Was there a reason you didn't take the gun out of your uh, waistband before you got out of the car, or what was your intent there? I just didn't want to reach for it and have anybody I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I didn't want to reach for the gun and have anybody shoot at me mm -hmm. or say that I was trying to shoot at you guys. When you saw me pulling behind you, didn't, want, didn't you want to stuff it under the seat or something so you weren't carrying it? I, I was thinking about it, but I just... You had to realize I was going to find it when I pulled you out. You're going to find it in which way. If you pulled me over and pulled me out of the car, you would have searched me and the car. You would have found it. I figured if it's in my pants, at least you know you get it right there. And there. Yeah, but you sure put yourself at a lot of risk when you're jumping out of the car with a gun in your waistband. Well, that's, that's why I told you before I jumped out that I had to climb through the window. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me you had a gun, though. That might be something in the future if you want to decide to carry a gun around. You might want to tell the police officers that. Um, going to be towing your car tonight. Don't have a choice. Your partner there is, is he's suspended too, so I don't have a licensed driver and it's gotta be off the freeway. Okay, I'll let you know what tow company has it before we take you down. We'll book you into the Pierce County Jail, okay? All right. Sit tight, I'll be back in a minute. As he was climbing through the window of the car, I saw the butt of the gun as he came out. It's things like this that make traffic stops so dangerous. You never know when you pull somebody over what they're going to have on them, so you always have to be aware. Um, finding guns and finding drug paraphernalia, usually there's going to be drugs involved. And if they're on drugs and carrying guns, they're going to be unstable. Uh, you can never tell their, what their attitude or personality is going to be like when they get out of the car, their demeanor. Kind of like throwing a wrench in the motor. <laughs> Looks like he's running this stop sign here onto the avenue. Three seven one County. Got one taken off southbound on the avenue. It's just a Green El Camino right now. I don't have a plate. Where on the avenue? Uh, we're just passing 108th right now. That's how he's sticking out. He's waiting at 108th. Okay, <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead and call. He just stuck something out the window. I don't know what it was. He's sticking something out. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, shots fired, location. 
We had several shots fired. 370 again. Coming up on 96. Uh, we're going to continue on Yakima, RC Street there, Park. Northbound 96 and C. Charles. More shots fired, 257. We're going to go back eastbound on 96. Eastbound 96. Two. Another shot fired, driver's firing shot. Another shot fired, driver's firing shot, 258. <laughs> He's down 96 from the Avenue 258. He's 80, no traffic. He's 80, no traffic, 258. 10437. Southbound passing 100 seconds, 270. Southbound passing 100 seconds, 259. 7 stop traffic, 112. Okay, 7 stopping traffic, 112, 259. Clock. Still holding the gun up to his head. If I get a chance, I'm going to go ahead and pit him or take him out here. 46, copy. He's in traffic, 370. Oh, we're at 50 now. I just think he threw something out the window. I don't know what it was. It might have been the handgun. We're approaching A Street. Approaching A, Adam, 301. Just trying to take out a car coming the opposite way. We're going to continue on 121st towards the avenue. Attempting to take out oncoming vehicles, continuing towards the avenue 301. Northbound on the avenue from 121st. Northbound Pacific from 121st 301. The patrol car is now inside here. Trooper are continuing that oncoming traffic on the Pacific Avenue. Still attempting to hit on coming traffic on Pacific 302. 371, can I need permission to take this guy out? Westbound 106, we're picking the air and back in the box. Westbound 106 of the avenue attempting to pit 302. 371, I'm out of it. You yeah, can pull out behind the K9 and pull it. Should be coming right there. There he goes. He's just turned. He's westbound on 96 now. He's on his uh, axle. He's got his last of tires. Looks like he's going to run. Here he goes. Get ready to go by the trailer core 305. Now we're coming from North Moon Village South. He's got a door open uh, westbound.
Get on the ground! Uh, get on get the ground the on your stomach! Get the dog! Get on your ground on the stomach now! Get on the ground! Ah! Uh. Get your hands up! 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 Get your hands <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, oh. Oh. My car. I go Stand up. Stand up. Oh, well, oh. What'd you do with your gun so some kid doesn't find it? Oh, I don't have. I. You want some kid to find that gun and hurt themselves so you get charged with another crime? You don't really care, do you? Oh. 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 Well, I saw that rag over the steering column there. You lift it up and the steering column's cracked open. So running the registration, it comes back to the suspect. But then I ran the VIN and the VIN comes back as Bonnie Lake stolen. So what he did is he put his own plates on this stolen car since he owned a El he Camino. Owned, yeah. And I and I've stopped him in the in his El Camino three or four times. I'm gonna turn on this white pickup truck here. Going pretty good, and we got a couple white ones on our hot sheet. We'll stop them up here. No, it looks like he it looks like he might have bailed out. You should have someone run through your yard? What's he wearing? Just a t-shirt. Just what's what's he look like? Short and stubby white guy? I heard him crashing right through there. Three seven two, Kenny. Can you confirm the address? Seven one hundred second. Okay, it's gonna be this one right here. Received him out with him. No. 372, Kenny, I'm out with the caller. Hi. Hi, he came running through here? I know, yes, he was running towards... I heard him crash through your leaves. I saw, I, I don't know where he came from, but I saw this big dust storm coming through and he was running right to my front door. Uh -huh. I closed it and locked it immediately. Is he picking anything up? What's that? Oh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. I really can't cut him loose and keep walking around. No, no, I understand that. I bet he he probably went over one of these fences. Thanks. Well, we're going to take the keys to this so it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to swing through the neighborhood, see if we can find a short, stubby white guy walk around in a T-shirt. Probably the driver of the car. And there's one around the corner. The driver jumped right out and ran out of his shoes and cut through a neighbor's yard. I didn't get a good look at him, but uh, the neighbor saw him. And so we're going to do a drive through the area here and see if we can get lucky. Short, stocky, white guy. Uh, looks like our canine unit cracked the guy. Hunter first where? Beepers on until you get him in custody, 2256. 
All right, go ahead and stand up and turn around. Turn around. Yes, sir. Okay. What did I do? Let's calm down. I'll let you know in just a second, all right? Okay. Gosh, you look like you've been running, cutting through the brush. No, sir. Just sleeping right here. Just sleeping? Yes, sir. Wow, it's not that hot out. Hey, you don't have any shoes. What happened to your shoes? Left at the bar. You left them at the bar? Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Were you wearing sandals, maybe? No, sir. What type of shoes are you wearing? Uh, a pair of uh, boots. A pair of boots? Yes, sir. 372 County Council of Beep, one in Cussie. What did I do? I think one in Cussie, 100 first pump static. Can you call them? They can't hear my portable. All right, jump on in here, partner. You got any ID on you anywhere? No ID. What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave? How come you ran through this person's backyard? I, didn't, I just, I've been laying there for about two hours, officer, from way home. Okay, I, I, here's I, the thing, here's the thing. Do you know what obstructing the law enforcement officer is? No, Do you, no, listen, no, listen, listen to me. Stop your story. Do you understand what obstructing the law enforcement officer yes, is? Sir. Okay. It's when you hinder and delay an investigation. Officer, okay. And that is exactly what you're doing right now. I haven't done okay. anything. How many DUIs point. do you have? Pardon me? How many DUIs have you been for, arrested for? I've, I've had a couple. Of a couple. Okay. Well, and you didn't want one years. tonight, did you? I, I wasn't driving, officer. Okay. Hey, sir, could you just come down here and... Okay. And that's the subject? Yep. Saw so running right through your yard. Where's Jimmy? I'm right past my truck in my yard. I was laying. Me, sir. Is it was. No, sir. You're just out here sweating to death. Yeah. Sweating to death, cuts all over your legs. Surprising, you don't have any shoes. You left them right back over there by your car. Go and step on out here for me. So you were a size nine, right? Okay. Come on over here. Go and put put that sandal on there. Wow. She fits. Try, try, just leave, put it on. Okay, now let's try, try this one on right here. God, that's a perfect fit. Not mine. Just like Cinderella. What size shoe do you wear? I wear size 12. Those wouldn't fit me. I'm gonna go back to the car, you can keep them. Okay. You ever heard this, the term liar, liar, pants on fire? Have you heard that term? Yes, sir. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do?